Today we give thanks to God as we enter to year 2013. In this day, we are celebrating New Year. We are celebrating the risen Lord as resurrected from dead, yes, Jesus Christ. Every Sunday when we can, we come, we are going to worship, we are going to celebrate our God the Almighty. And also we are remembering Christ Jesus who resurrected from death. The sermon I'm going to preach to you today is trusting grace to God. Trusting grace to God. The scriptures we are taken is from Psalm 65 verse 11. Let us read. You crown the year with your party, your wagon tracks overflow with riches. Riches. In the beginning of the years, I want to encourage you to trust in graceful God. Why? Why you want to trust in graceful God? Because so many people thought that our life can only accomplish, our success can only attain by our own hard work. Indeed, there is a need for us to work very hard to attain to attain, to achieve the goal we are setting. So many people, when they are unfaith, didn't have faith in Christ, they thought that Christianity is some, something uh, no necessary. It, it is not something it is necessary. They thought that I believe in Christ is okay, but I didn't believe Christ is also okay. They doesn't feel that there is a necessity for a person who live in this world. But Christians are not as such. Christians are thinking that Christ is our needs. Without Christ, our life is unworthy. Our life is unpurposed. Our life is unmeaningful. Our life is just a waste of life. We need Christ. So, so, so many people thought that we pray to God is something very foolish, something unrealistic. And some, some of the people thought that we are really unbelievable. So some of the people feel negative towards religion, towards Christianity, because they don't very understand about the importance of trusting God. Today we say we want to trust in grace to God. In the beginning of the year, I would like to invite you to worship God and also pay great attention on trusting and worshiping the grace of God. Why we want to trust in grace of God? We will understand in the light of the scriptures, especially the Psalms of 65, verse 11. Psalms 65, verse 11 say, You crown you with your bounty, your welcome tracks, overflow with riches, which mean richness. You know, so many people congratulate each another, especially Christian, they will congratulate. Or will, uh, suppose he wishes everybody when the year came. You know the scriptures will, they will take them as these scriptures. Do you take them these scriptures as uh, scriptures to, to encourage another Christian or encourage other people? You crown the year with your bounty, your weather tracks overflow with leashes. I see many people in fact school that greet another people by using these scriptures to encourage each another to trust him. Grateful God. We pray. Father, as we open your scriptures, we pray that God you open our hearts, you open our minds, so that we are able to understand your will. We pray that your Holy Spirit come to take control in this time. Your Holy Spirit will deep work in our heart and our life. Without you, our Lord, Lord our life is unworthy, uh, unmeaningful. Our purpose without you our life is is a foolish life but if we have you lord we will have a bad life we will have meaning we will have directions we will have all the wisdom lord i just pray that you forgive all our sins we give thanks for your, your grace we give thanks for your mercy lord you come to help us so that the Holy Spirit in our hearts, Jesus Christ, all in our hearts, will draw us to draw closer to you day by day as we will trust it.
distress to God as you are. Praise this in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Trust in grace to God. As the scripture said, you crowd the year with your body, your weapon tracks overflow with wishes. Here's the fact that God always likes to give you bounty. Bounty. He's willing to give you crowd. Crowd. Crowd the year with your bounty. When you say God wants to give you grace. Grace is not grace. Bounty is as 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 as, as put, put into as to crown you to say God will take care of you all the time, all the days, all the years. Why we want to trust in grace with God? Because we want to invite you to experience the grace with God. And He is understand ourselves. Us. You see from scriptures uh, Psalm 65 verse 1 to 5. John Wesley actually, in his uh, commentary, you know, John Wesley, he had written Wesley notes on the scriptures, on the whole scriptures, on the whole Bible. As he returned the, the notes, especially in the in his notes on, on, on this Psalm 65, actually he had put it to two sides, you know, put two, two parts. First part from verse 1 to 5. They say that we need to worship God. From 6 to 30, he said that God is the God of creator, is a God of creation, and so God of the providence. He said that we need to worship our God. When you worship God, you will experience that God is the graceful God. When we come before our God, we will experience that God is the graceful God. You know, so many people in the day of John Wesley, so many people, they actually drugs. So many people they are involved in prostitution. So many people they are they are they are in gambling. But when they adopted beings of grace, when they pray to God, when they read the scriptures, when they come to fasting, they receive the sacraments that experience the changes of life, started from the transformation, transformations in hearts. In the past yesterday, we have really this book, John Wesley, Holiness of Hearts in life and try to translate to Mandarin and speak to people. We have studied this John Wesley, a Wesley uh, Christ Gospel Faith uh, weekend Bible Sunday School. Uh, Bible School. We have two pet people attacks. Uh, and I have also recording all, all the materials into videos and I also try to upload it to YouTube. You're able to search in the YouTube that we will try to share it that's to more point of people. There's so many people that experience the changes for life. When people drop, they really is a sudden and slack of of drinks, you know. They are no longer the the, 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 the master of the drinks, but they are the sir. I have a friend. He is a Christian, but sometimes they, they do have check, struggle in, in, in drinking, you know. When they drink, they drop. When they do drug, they do feel foolish, foolish thing. We need God because God is a trusty, is a, is a grace to God. As in verse 11, he said, God willing to take care of you. They're willing to crown you with his body. He said, He willing to give you all his grace to you. I don't know whether you have any anything you feel that you need grace of God. I need grace of God in church planting. I need grace of God in my personal spiritual life. I need grace of God in handling, struggling, and, 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 and handling all the, all the work. I need grace of God. You need grace of God because you need God who guides you and give you a bad life. So that we will, we will really experience His richness. You know why people go to drug? You know why people go to gambling? You, you know why people go to prostitution? You know why people do a lot of funny things? Because they experience hopeless, they experience desperation of life. You say, I okay, I so not so bad as this Peter, right? I am a good man. But if you sincere enough before God, we still sometimes we feel that there's something we need to search. 
But this is answer from Jesus. All of us understand that, that Jesus will give us. As this sermon is continued, as a continued encouragement to you and I to trust in grace to God. How are we going to trust in grace to God? We can worship God. When we worship God, then we will experience that God is a God of grace. Verse 1 to 5 said, Praise is due to you, O God in Zion, and to you shall void be performed, all you who answer prayer to your all fresh account. When things of equity overwhelm us, you forgive our transgressions. Happy are those who you choose and bring near to live in your crown. In your hearts, we shall be satisfied with the goodness of your house, your whole temple. But I will soon fix you answer us with deliverance. O oh God of our salvation, you are the hope of all the ends of the earth and of the Father's sins. He has said very, very clearly, said very clearly, yes, as they say that in this, uh, in, in Psalm 65, they say that. They want to praise God for God's works. God is a God of creations. You see how God has doing mighty work in, 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 in creation, in the whole creations. And also in, in first one of five, especially in second, we need to worship God. At the temple of Mount Joy, worshipers who fulfill both intensely for God's gifts. Especially in verse 1 and 2. They have yeah, difficulty, they come to worship God. <coughs> they come to, to ask God at this moment of high days you want to give thanks to God as this is the day when they're having celebrating a festival they want to give thanks to God as God has listened to their prayers when they have difficulties they pray to God as this time they want to present their thanksgiving to God verse 3 they also they want to give thanks to God. They feel that God is a graceful God. Because why? Verse 3 says what? Psalm 65, verse 3. Verse 3 says that Iniquities prevail against thee. As for our transgressions, you forgive them. They say that Christ our God is forgive. The our, our God forgives our iniquities. iniquities. Especially we Christians understand that Christ is a divorce on the cross. They have paid the debts. They paid they, the debt for. Yes. For us who have lived in Him shall not perish but have eternal life. We give thanks to God that as we can really experience God, God's mercy and God's forgiveness. We want to give thanks that when we worship God, that we will experience the forgiveness, the pardon, the pardon from God. We will experience the satisfaction from God. We need to be satisfied with God. God, we need to desire in God. We desire God, God will really be able to give a peace, give a content in our life. Desire for God, we worship God. We give thanks to God. You see verse 4, happy are those who are who you choose and bring near to live in your house. We shall be satisfied with the goodness of your house, your hand temple. Why? Because we aspire the present God. By our uncertainty, you answer us with deliverance. O oh God of our salvation, you are the hope of all the end of the earth and of the Pharisees. We need to trust in grace with God. As described people, they experience once and once again. They help God lead us, lead them. We know in 1446 BC, there's a time when Moses had bring the Israel come from Egypt. In front of them are sea, it is, it is, it is, it is a sea. At the back, there is a what? The Egyptians uh, come before they want to catch them back to Egypt. But God lead them across the sea with the dry land. This grace of God has little come from uh, out of difficulties. They really experience salvation of God. As God will also not only lead the Israel at that particular time, throughout the history of Israel, God has their provision, has salvation. We 
give thanks to God that God eventually sent Jesus Christ to come to the world that have the experience of God present. We give thanks that God we need to forgive our sins. We need to desire for God as we wish God. As God is a God worthy for us to worship. Desire for God is one of the Wesleyan quarter. Desires are necessary. If you and I didn't have desire, then we did not eat, we did not sleep, we did not work. Virtue of what was later the holy temple is the trouble of the name of desire, which is no to be destroyed, but to be directed solely towards God. This requires purification from every unkind of turbulent patience in order to please and enjoy God. In the Sermon of 33, Sermon of the Mount of John Wesley, it says this. This alone brings holiness and happiness. But for John Wesley, such a proper ordering of desire cannot be done through our own powers. Jesus alone accomplished this through his sanctifications. He lives a blessed life. And body the acts, beautitudes in the servants of the mouth. They are the religions of the hearts. Wesley finds his religion is in the sun whenever they encourage delight in the Lord of God. Have for instance, chapter 40, where John Wesley commentary said that Christ alone truly and immutably takes delight in God because he alone delights but in doing the will of God. We need to desire in God. We need to decide before God as we continue to experience the grace of God as God is a grace for God. In the scriptures say that you count the year with your party. If you not able to experience God's grace, one of the reasons behind is that we are forgetting to worship God or to adopt the means of grace through prayer, through scripture reading, through sacrament, through fasting, through fellowship. All this is means of grace where God will give us I mean, we give a grace throughout the channel, throughout this means. We continue to experience God is a grace to God as in verse 6 to 13. As we continue to see in verse, verse 6, they started to let us know from another angle, especially from the angle of creation and angle of providence. We know that God has His own power when they create the whole world. God speak, then the deed is done. You see verse 6, By your strength you establish the mountains, you are gilded with might. Right? He said it very clearly that God is actually doing very multi work, right? Not doing my multi work, right? Allowing us to understand He sees Himself by the whole creations. The scriptures give said that very clearly. We know in God that because of the assistance of the whole nature. The whole nature is proclaiming the the the, the, the mighty of God. So we through the to the to the to the nature we know that grace of God. We know the mighty of God. God created the whole universe. So we when we say we we want to say, we want to give thanks to God. We say God has, uh, is a merciful God, is a graceful God, is from creation. We know that God created the whole world. Not only created the whole world, actually God also wanted to continue to guide us and lead us all the day. But from here, from verse 6 to 30, especially is mentioned about the creation work and also about the, the work of providence. Especially knowing that the Israel people, they are actually is the is the people are doing farming, right? Farming. They are doing all this, and they did a very good land. They did good good land, all this. But then it's come that God has helped us so that the land be prepared for the for the farming work. So they are describing how God grace as compared. As contrast to the the water, you see verse seven. Verse seven, you silent the roaring of the sea, the roaring of the waves, and tumults of the people. Here says that what? Here says that God had 
making the rolling of the sea become silent, right? And she said that by the troubles, the trouble of the people. Verse 8 says that those who live at earth fastest spot are wet by your sight. You better get wet on the morning and the evening short, short for joy. She said that temporary thunder and lightning and earthquakes and comments of the or other strange mutuals, a work of God in the age. Morning, the successive causes of the morning and evening, or of the sun and moon, which go forth at those time. Thus the whole verse speak of the nature of the God, the former clauses of such an extraordinary, ordinary and terrible, and letter of such as are ordinary and delightful. Here it said that God also able to make us be joyful before Him. Let us continue our verses. Uh, verse number 9. Let us see verse number 9. You visit the earth and water it. You greatly enrich it. The liver of God is full of water. You provide the people with drink. For so you have prepared. He said that God has used drink and water to make the very, uh, very, how to say, a very hard land to be to be fulfilled, to become a land to be prepared for farming work. You know when the water is coming down, verse 10 says, the water is full of abundantly, sadly it reaches, softening it with shower and blessing its growth, growing. It to say it is allowing the water and the rain, especially the land, letting water, helping this very hearty, hardship uh, land to be able to be nurturing. So continuously as we read the continuous verses, actually they said that you can't yield your bounty, your wagon tracks overflow, overflow with riches. Why? The pasture of the wilderness. You know wilderness, when, when you be wilderness have a lot of glasses for the for the animal to eat? Very little, right? The wilderness sometimes not able to bear fruits, but not able to have any 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 vegetable or any 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 living uh, not able to to farm anything right but when god willing to make the wagon tracks on the floor with which the, the partial of the wetness on the floor we to say that they're able to have prepared something for the animals in the outside to eat so and she bring themselves with joy the beautiful crop Crop them themselves with frogs, the valley that themselves with grain, they shout and sing together for, for joy. He said that they are they are abundantly as witness mean to say which thought neglected by man are furnished with food for peace, peace. But God had prepared it. Sin means say they are abundantly satisfied with God's goodness and in their mercy for, for the place of their benefactor. Now actually I want to sum up all what I'm trying to say is that we will able to see the full set of God throughout the God creation and the providence of God words. You, you see from verse 6 to 13, on one hand God created the whole world with his own strength, but on the other hand also he has his own providence. Continually say that God is unseen but we are able to see God full set. Trusting God, grace as God grace is satisfied. Three. Is, is sufficient for us. You have any needs, you have it. what's in the year ahead. You may have your own goals, right? But you understand, as this scripture said, you can't give me your bounty, your work and tracks overhaul with richness. As in Chinese churches, we are very famous of these scriptures. Many calendar we will see this verse to remind people that grace of God is sufficient for us. Let us trust in grace to God. I would like to say this as my last word in the sermon. Trust in God is not no something can be avoided. Trust in God has eternal meaning and value. The key point is that when we live in the whole world, we need to concern our relationship with our God, the Creator. Let us pray to God. Father in heaven, we give thanks to you as you remind us we need to trust in you because you are the grace of God. 
we continue to bring our sister in Christ, Sister Florence, continue to experience your grace all the days. We give thanks as this evening, this afternoon, we have, give, we have a chance to worship you. We continue to pray, we continue to take care of our English ministry in Lantan Wesleyan Church. You give us wisdom, you give us, uh, you open the gospel law for us so that we can bring more and more people to you. We give thanks and we pray in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.